All right, these kind of problems give kids fit. So I'm going to show you how to do the advanced area and perimeter problems. Just kind of run through it real quickly with you. Let me change colors here. Uh, we're looking for the perimeter and the area for each one of these shapes. The first thing that you have to notice is that some of the sides are not labeled on this. Right here, no number for the measurement. Right there, no number for the measurement. How do we find those measurements? Well, let me get rid of those last things that I did and show you how I'm going to do this. We're going to use colors for this. This side right here is the same thing as this side and this side. It has nothing to do with that side. This side, you see, I could bring this over to here. This side, just picture it falling over there, and it would stop right there. And then this side over here would come down here, and it would make up the rest of that side. So that means that this 10 is equal to this piece and that piece put together, one piece plus the other. So if this side's 10, and this side and this side both make 10 together, and we already know that that's 4, that means this side is equal to 6 centimeters. All right, now I'm going to change to a different color. So you can see that this side here and this side here are the same as this big side up here. So if this side is 7 and this one's 10, this one and this one makes 10, that means that this side that's missing here is going to be equal to 3 centimeters. Now that's kind of hard to see, so let me go with this orange here, 3 centimeters. Okay, now I should be able to find the perimeter at least pretty easily. Let me get a different color on here. We are going to simply add all the sides to find the perimeter. So you've got 10, 10, 4, 3, 6, and 7. We add all those together. 10, 10, 7, 6, 3, and 4. And you'll find that you get 7. That's 13. That's 20. And 20 more, 40 centimeters. Remember, it's centimeters for perimeter, not square cubic centimeters. Now, how are we going to find the area of this shape? Here's how it's done. I'm going to chop this into two pieces, find the area for each rectangle. One place I could chop it would be right there. So if I chop it there, I notice that this side here is equal to 3, and that side's equal to 4. It's real nice to show your work inside of where you're doing this. So we're doing this rectangle here. 3 times 4 is 12. So the area of this rectangle is 12 square centimeters. Now what about this remaining rectangle that goes around like this? Well, this side is equal to 10. Some kids get confused right here and they say this side's 10 too. No, 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 it's 10 all the way across here. From here to here is not 10. Well, this side down here is the same as the top and that's equal to seven. See, that's seven and seven. So it's actually measured 10 by seven on this big rectangle. So you write 10 times seven, that's equal to 70 and the answer is square centimeters there, square centimeters. Then all I have to do is put these two together. 70 plus 12 is 82. Don't forget, area is square centimeters. All right, let's take a look at another one that's even harder. I, I've got most of my sides labeled here. The only side that's not labeled is this one right here. How would I measure that side? Well, the opposite side over here across from it is 14. That means that this piece, this piece, and that piece all make 14 inches. Well, this bottom piece down here is 4, and that one up there is 3. So 3 and 4 make 7, and it's got a total 14. So we know this is going to be 7 inches because 3, 7, and 4 makes 14. Now that I've got all the sides, I can add those together to get the perimeter. I'm not going to bother showing you how to add all these numbers together to get the perimeter. Let's work on area. I cannot divide this. Uh, some kids want to do it here. It gets pretty confusing. What you want to do is just chop off these uh, little extra pieces here that are hanging out. Okay, I can't just divide it into two. What I was going to say is you can't divide it into two rectangles like we did this last one. We're going to have to divide it into three rectangles. So this rectangle right here, what's the measurement of that rectangle? Three inches by four inches. This side's three, that side's four. Show your work. Three times four. This is equal to 12 square inches. How about this little rectangle down here? That one measures 5 by 4. So you're going to write 5 times 4 equals 20. 
Now what about this big one? Is this equal to 12 right here? No. Is it equal to 11 up here? No. Hmm, I'm going to have to figure out what this part just right here is equal to. Well, if this whole piece is 12 and this piece right here is equal to 5, that means that this piece plus this piece down here is going to make the total length. So that means this side is going to be 7 inches from here to here, just that part there. You can also see it at the top. The big piece is 11. This piece right here is 4. We take the 4 off of the 11. The top part is 7 inches just right there. So how do we find the area of the big rectangle? We're going to do 14 times 7. 4 times 7 is 28. That's equal to 98. Now I add all my areas together. 98, 12, and 20. And that's equal to 10. Carry the 1. 10, 11, 12, 13. So we have 130 square inches for our answer.